Today I'm going to be showing you how to use ChatGPT, that is how to use ChatGPT prompts to be able to get the best results for what it is that you want it to do. Now since the release of ChatGPT, more and more people have joined ChatGPT. Many people are now using ChatGPT. Only problem is many people don't really know how to use it, how to prompt it to get the best results. I personally was one of them when I was beginning to use ChatGPT. I really didn't understand how it worked. I really didn't get the best results. I really didn't know how to prompt it. And this is what currently most people who are using ChatGPT are going through. What you need to keep in mind is that ChatGPT is just a machine, okay? Which means you have to feed it the right information to get the best results. One of the best prompts that ChatGPT uses to churn out the best results is when you tell it to behave like someone or something, okay? So say for example you want an article on SEO, okay? So you will tell ChatGPT that it's the best SEO expert of all time, okay? You can then add something like, I want you to write an article on tips on how to SEO your article, okay? So those two lines are very, very powerful with ChatGPT. Another way that you can go about it is by telling ChatGPT that it is a certain type of person, okay? So that person can maybe be a copywriter, it can be a designer, it can be an artist, pretty much anyone, okay? And it has to be someone who is known, someone who is famous. So say for example, um, you, you can tell ChatGPT that you are so and so, then you can tell it to write, you know, an article in the style of that person, okay? So say for example, if you go over to Google, Google will be a friend when looking for these types of people. So you can probably search something like best authors, okay, of all time. Google will then give you a result of best authors of all time. So we have Leo, we have George, we have Stephen King, we have Jane Austen. So all these people have been known to be the best authors of all time. So now ChatGPT is going to act as one of these people. So pretty much ChatGPT is going to gather a lot of information of that certain person. So say for example, Stephen King. Okay, so you can come back here to ChatGPT and say something like, you are Stephen King, one of the best authors of all time. Okay, so Stephen King is known for writing horror books, okay, horror novels. So you can go on and say, I want you to write a horror novel in the style of Stephen King. So something like this, okay? And then ChatGPT is going to write an article in the style of Stephen King. So let's see what it's going to come up with. So as you can see, it's written a short article or a novel in the style of Stephen King. If you are familiar with Stephen King novels, you'll actually see some familiarity with this content over here. And as you can see even down here, if we go to the bottom, it tells you the above story is a work of fiction and not written by Stephen King himself. It was crafted in the style of Stephen King based on his iconic horror storytelling techniques. Okay, so if you want to come up with the best horror stories, this is something that you can do. You can actually go about it this way. Okay, telling ChatGPT to write in the style of someone. All right, and there are so many instances of this. You can tell ChatGPT to write, you know, an article or a novel in the style of someone. So if you go here to my website, again, this is robertokeller.com, I have an article on the best ChatGPT prompts. So these are the best ChatGPT prompts that you can use to come up with, you know, to come up with articles or to come up with content in the style of an expert or an expert in a certain area. So we have experts in our art history, we have chefs, we have coaches, coding, critique designers, all of these are different people who are experts in their areas, all right? So if, say for example, this one here is an artist, so you can ask ChatGPT to give you content as a professional screenwriter, okay? You can say something like, you are a screenwriter. You will develop an engaging and creative script for either a feature-length film or a web series that can captivate its viewers. Start with coming up with interesting characters, the setting of the story, dialogue between the characters, etc. So what this prompt is telling ChatGPT to do is to generate characters, okay? Generate characters in this story. And each of those characters will have their own dialogues. Then it goes on to say, once your character development is complete, create an exciting storyline filled with twists and turns that keep the viewers in suspense until the end. The first story to write is an adventure movie set in Africa, okay? So basically, ChatGPT is going to write an, uh, a storyline as a professional screenwriter, okay? So this is for an artist, okay, or a movie writer, or a screenwriter. 
okay so someone else can be a chef so maybe you want content or maybe you want a recipe of a certain dish okay so you can tell chat gpt that you are a chef i require you to suggest delicious recipes that include foods that are nutritionally beneficial but also easy and not time consuming enough therefore suitable for busy people like us among other factors such as cost effectiveness so overall dish ends up being healthy yet economical at the same time okay so my first request is something light yet fulfilling that could be cooked quickly during lunch break so let's just copy this and see what chat gpt is going to come up with so let's come back over here to chat gpt all right and then just paste this prompt over here click on enter all right so what this prompt has done as you can see it says here certainly i can suggest a quick and nutritious recipe that fits your requirements how about a vibrant and flavorful mediterranean inspired quinoa salad okay so as you can see it's come up with a very unique type of salad i've never even heard of this word then it goes on to say it's light satisfying packed with nutrients and can be prepared in no time here's the recipe and then down here it has the recipe here the ingredients so it gives you all the ingredients and how to actually use those ingredients okay then down here it finishes by saying enjoy a light yet fulfilling lunch break with the nutritious quinoa salad let me know if you'd like more recipe suggestions so this is a very powerful type of prompt once you tell chat gpt that it is a certain person it will automatically gather all the information on the internet on the top skills of that certain person so say for example a chef in this case okay and there are other examples if you come back over here we have coach okay so it can act as a, a relationships coach so maybe if you are in the relationships niche you can tell chat gpt that it's a relationship coach or you can even tell it you are the best relationship coach of all time and then you can go on and say i will provide some details about the two people involved in a conflict and it will be your job to come up with suggestions on how they can work through the issues that are separating them this could include advice on communication techniques on different strategies for improving the understanding of one another's perspective okay my first request is i need help solving conflicts between my spouse and myself okay very powerful prompt we also have another one here acting as a debate coach acting as a motivational coach so this one is also another popular type of uh, niche i know many of you have done motivational articles i've done so many motivational videos on how to write motivational um, articles or motivational videos for youtube shorts and things like that so you can tell it you are a professional motivational coach and then you just go into the same similar uh, prompt i will provide you with some information about someone's goals and challenges and it will be a job to come up with strategies that can help this person achieve their goals this should involve providing positive affirmations giving helpful advice or suggesting activities they can do to reach their end goal okay my first request is i need help motivating myself to stay disciplined while studying for an upcoming exam okay we also have coding okay so if you are in the coding if you're a programmer mainly these are coding prompts that you can use so acting as a javascript console we're acting as a linux terminal okay here we have a critic we have designers okay so this one is acting as a ui ux developer this is similar or this is just in the niche of programming okay here we have events so acting as a logistician here we have an expert acting as a cover letter acting as a you know interviewer acting as a nomist acting as a pet behaviorist okay you can explain a particular style acting as a life coach these are all different people or different areas of expertise that you can tell chat gpt to act as okay here we have finance so chat gpt can also act as a professional finance expert or an investment manager here yeah, acting as an accountant here yeah, acting as a financial analyst and then we have also 10 maybe this one is just something maybe you can add like a web browser so this is just someone who's a casual maybe just a casual uh, computer user like a web browser here we have acting as a emoji translator acting as a drunk person this one is very interesting i tested it out so you can tell chat gpt to pretend to be drunk you will only respond in the manner of a very drunk person texting and nothing else your level of drunkness will cause you to make a lot of grammar and spelling mistakes in your answers you will also disregard what i said and something random with the same level of drunkenness that i mentioned okay do not include explanations in your responses my first sentence is how are you this is very hilarious i suggest you go and test it out and see what chat gpt is going to uh, produce 
Next, we also have games or gaming experts acting as a text-based adventure gamer. We also have guides or acting as a travel guide. This is also a very popular niche. You can use ChatGPT to be a professional travel guide. We also have health, and that is acting as a doctor, acting as an AI-assisted doctor, acting as a dentist, mental health advisor, opinion. So there's so many of these experts that you can use that you can tell, uh, tell ChatGPT to act as and come up with articles or solutions for the best results. So just keep in mind that ChatGPT is a machine, okay? Always have that in mind. So don't expect it to come up with a fully detailed output or a fully detailed or well-written article if you give it a very simple prompt, okay? It's not going to respond like a human. It's just going to respond with whatever it is that you give it. All right, guys? So that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you in the next one.